Ayo hey duckies, and Dilip here about another OBS plugin tutorial and this is another update from Exceldro on the Source Switcher plugin. So as you're seeing right now we are switching through different sources that say the recent subs, donos, all that jazz and they're actually animated in between as well. He's added some great features. Let's get into it and I'll take you through how to install it and what has changed. Alright, put your rock up the stone. Let's go. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. They are your one-stop shop for all of your streaming needs. You can tie it into this tutorial right now and use some of their overlays and the source switcher command to actually switch between your donations, subs, and everything like that so you can get all the information you want on your stream but make it look super clean. They offer absolutely tons of different overlays for affordable prices and you can actually save yourself 50% with offer code ANDY50 and all the links are down below below it that will go a long way to supporting the channel nice one the source switcher plugin has been out for nearly a year now but Exceldro has just added something that I've been requesting for a little while and that is now an interval between when your sources show and hide and in turn he's added the show and hide transition this is how you can create different animations for your rotators or anything like that so let's get it installed we're just gonna head to the OBS website just here the link is in the description and we're just gonna head up to download and you'll be able to choose which version you want, so mine's Windows, so I'm going to download Windows. I would recommend using the Windows installer because that's the easier method. But if you want to know how to manually install, we just open up the file and you'll have two folders in there, data and OBS plugins. We're just going to copy them. So we're going to copy and we're going to go to where your OBS is installed. So mine's in C drive and program files. Yours could be program files 86. So we're just going to select program files, go to OBS studio and we're just going to paste it directly into there. Mine's going to ask if I want to replace because I've already had the plugin installed uh, and you can just press replace and that'll update it but I'm just going to press no for now. Fun fact for you guys, did you know 80% of you aren't subscribed? Is there any reason for that? Am I not doing the right content for you? Please let me know in the comments down below or just consider subscribing because it'll help me make content for you constantly full time. Let's go. Right, so now you can jump yourself into OBS. I'm just using a blank OBS to make it simpler for you guys but you can make sure you've got the plugin installed correctly. If you press the plus sign under sources, you should see source switcher. If you're not seeing source switcher, it means it's not in right so you'll have to basically jump back a step and try and get the plugin installed. Make sure OBS is up to date and everything like that as well. So I've created a scene here called Rotator and I'm just gonna put all the sources that I want to put in this source switcher, which is basically a rotator, uh, just so they're out of the way. So I'm gonna create color sources for this example. So I'm gonna add a source and we're gonna choose color source. I'm just gonna call it color source for now, just like that and I'm gonna leave it white. I'm gonna create some more color sources so we can see the difference between them, okay? So now I've got myself four different color sources, blue, green, white, and red, all there. And it doesn't matter if these are on and off, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna create a source switcher now. So I'm just gonna create another scene uh, just so you can see it on its own and we don't get confused or anything. So we're gonna press the plus sign under sources, go to source switcher, and I'm just gonna call it source switcher for now, that's fine. Uh, press OK and then here we need to select what sources we want to put in this switcher, the rotator. So uh, when you press plus you probably see you can't get a drop down menu, you need to physically type in what your source is. If you can't remember you can just go to your scene and have them up at the same time. So if we go to sources, press the plus sign, I know it's going to be color source that I need to add. And I'm just going to copy that because I know it's color source 2, 3 and 4. So now I've got all four of these sources in here. It'll just look blank white depending on, it'll just look like the first source that you've added to them. I'm going to leave loop on because this means it'll constantly loop between all these. But nothing's happening right now because we've not turned on the time switch. So I'm going to go to the scene that this is all on and I'm going to turn time switch on. But I'm going to make sure it's on a lower time so we can actually see it transition a lot. So every three seconds this is going to change now. Automatically, I'm not pressing anything. There's no hot key or anything for this. It's just happening automatically. But what Exceldro has added is this between se uh, section just here. So in between, if I'd set this to like a thousand, it'll turn off, wait a second, turn on. Three seconds, and then wait a second, and then turn the next one on, etc. So that'll constantly happen and it'll constantly loop. You can actually do this with media sources as well. As you can see just here, when the media source finishes, then it'll move on to the next one. So it can be really powerful to create some automated messages that come on screen or maybe some CTA buttons, some call to actions. 
Another thing that he's added, as I said at the beginning, is the transitions. So if I just turn the type of transition on here and say fade, for instance, you'll see automatically it's going to fade in, fade out. Easy peasy. So I'm just going to change that back to none because he's actually added the show and hide transition as well. So I can do different ones. For instance, every time this turns on, I want it to slide in. And then when it hides, I want it to slide as well. But you'll probably see it will just slide and then slide. But I want to change the angles or maybe I want it to swipe up and swipe down. So if I go to the properties just here, I can actually press save and then I can choose whether or not I want it whatever direction. So I'm going to say swipe up, press OK. Double click back into source switcher and I can have a little look down at the settings. When it leaves, I want it to swipe down, for instance. So now we're creating this little animated rotator that is just automatic and we've put this on absolutely any scene. So say if I've got another scene just here and say I've got my webcam on there, so I'm going to use a video input capture and I'm going to put on this fantastic webcam that I've got just here and pressing all the wrong buttons. So now I'm on a just chatting scene just like this. If I go to my scene that I just created, which was called scene two and add this to this source, you can see it a little bit better now it's animated. I can actually resize this if I wanted to, put it just down in this corner. And now I've got a box on the screen. I know this is probably like a little bit ugly, but it's just a proof of concept. You can use absolutely any sources with this. You can actually use many different transitions as well with this. So that means you can use Luma wipes. You can even use the move transition plugin. So if you want to move the source on screen and then off screen, zoom it in, zoom it out, all that kind of stuff. You can totally do that. Make sure you do update the move transition plugin though, otherwise it will not work and it'll crash like I did. And I ran to Exceldra like, it doesn't work. And he was like, you dumb dumb son. But yeah, the possibilities with this plugin are pretty endless and they are so useful. You could have automated camera switching, everything like that, crazy. Just wanna say a huge thanks to all these people that helped me make this content full time. If you wanna consider joining Patreon or the channel members below from one pound a month, it goes a massive way to supporting the content. All right guys, and check out one of these videos just here because they will definitely take your stream to the next level. Put your rock up the stone.